Hello and welcome everybody to the fourth episode of SVU Sports Weekly. I'm your host, Connor Trank. I'm also the general manager of the Knights Table Collective. The Knights Table Collective was created in order to support athletes at Southern Virginia University by facilitating name, image, and likeness, NAL opportunities, as well as helping them prepare for the future. So we had a lot of fun games, activities, and whatnot this week. So quick scoreboard roundup here. SV teams had over 20 games this past week. Uh, the athletes are on fire, a lot of wins, a lot of good things going on. And we're going to dive into the details of each sport here shortly. So we're going to give a shout out to our sponsor, G2G. G2G bars are the perfect energy boost for athletes and all sports enthusiasts. And here's some great news for the listeners and viewers. By using the code Constant Sports, you can get an exclusive 15% off discount on G2G bar purchases. So don't miss out on this amazing deal. Feel your workouts, recovery, all that with G2G bars. And remember, Constant Sports is the code to use for the discount. All right, so... Let's begin the recap here. Let's start off with the women's volleyball. The women's volleyball team played four matches this week, three of them being USA South opponents. Uh, the women's team is currently tied in fourth place in the league. SV leads the USA Conference in opponent blocks with 73 and second in blocks with 99. So they faced off against Greensboro. They lost that match in the following two matches against Bridgewater and North Carolina Wesleyan. But they closed off with a win against Brevard, uh, giving them that fourth place. In, in the conference so far, so a lot of good things there, a lot of season left. Sydney Bassett, junior from Winston, Salem, North Carolina, leads the team of kills with 183 and is second in the USA Conference. We have Sarah Hoofman, freshman from Las Vegas, Nevada, leads the team with 365 assists. That's good for third in the conference. Jessica Ensley, junior from Gold Canton, Arizona, leads the team with 258 digs. We have Jelaine Peterson, senior from St. Louis, Missouri, leads the team with 48 blocks. Now on to men's soccer, one of the hottest teams uh, on campus and across the nation. The men's soccer team continued to play very well this past week. They played three games, uh, started league play on Saturday, and they're in second place overall after uh, league play started. So they placed Regent, uh, played Regent rather, with a th- two to one win. Played Gaeta University with a 10 to two win, which was the most goals scored in SVU school history. So shout out there. And they played Brevard College to a tie on Saturday. And SVU leads the team. And or leads leads the USA South in points, goals, assists, and is second in goals allowed. Amelou Jr. from K Texas is behind is uh, has six goals in the season or has six assists right, or six goals. Yep, and he's behind uh, Benjamin Simister, sophomore from St. George, Utah, who leads the team of goals with eight. He also leads the entire USA South conference in goals, points, and game-winning goals. Gavin Young, freshman from Sumter, South Carolina, leads the team with assists with four and is second in the conference there. And then uh, Traden String- Stringham, a uh, freshman from Washington, Utah, leads the uh, leads the team there with saves with 49 in the USA Conference in South in saves as well. So that's very cool. Then to, to note here, the following players are all scored their first goal of the year. Tanner Gonder, uh, Chase Gray, Thomas McCoy, Brock Hester, and Dante LaCruzma. Uh, so shout out to, to all the uh, goal scorers there. On to women's soccer here, the women's soccer team. Played two games this week, continuing replay. The Knights currently are in first place after three games of league play. So they're 3-0 there, which is super cool. That's Salem College. They won 5-0. North Carolina Wesleyan, 4-zip. Um, but kind of Winterton, senior from Charlottesville, VA, leads the team in goals with six. Mabel Harris, junior from Highland, Utah, leads the team in assists with three and points with 13. The Knights are riding a three-game win streak, so shout-out to them. On the men's football, the football team played a home game versus USA South opponent with range, where they put on a show, uh, season-high points, uh, uh, rushing yards, a lot of that. So they scored 52 points, which is second most points scored in SVU school history. We had Kevin Williams from Broussard, Louisiana, rushed 16 times for 102 yards, and Tud, uh, TD, uh, for those who aren't familiar with, with that reference there, first of the year for him. Alex Lanchu rushed 14 times, 92 yards. Back in hockey, freshman from Idaho uh, Falls, went uh, 16 for 21, 196 yards, four passing touchdowns. Colby Hyder, um, senior from Roosevelt, Utah, led the team in tackles with 15 again. He is second in the conference in tackles, and Tenoti is 10th in the entire country with, among all Division III uh, programs, 10th in tackles. As a component, freshman from Darren, Connecticut, leads the team in receiving with 15 catches and 201 yards. Uh, the following players scored their first touchdowns of the year. Delmore Dyer, a uh, freshman from Woodbridge, Virginia, scored his first touchdown. Jake Shank, senior from Encinitas, California. Uh, Matt Johansson scored as well, adding to his school record for most receiving touchdowns. So 
on to women's field hockey. They played a the game this week against Randolph Macon, losing that match. Um, Ellie Agnew, freshman from Hockey, Iowa, leads the team in goals and points. Rachel Amell, junior from Huntington, uh, Pennsylvania, leads the team in assists with uh, one there. And then on to rugby. Rugby team traveled to Queen's University of Charlotte, losing in a high scoring match 28 to 52. They're looking to rebound here coming up. Men's tennis uh, team played two matches this week against Gifford, losing 3 6, and Bridgewater losing 3 6 in those sets. The uh, singles, Abram Robbins, freshman from up on Utah, was 3 0 in his singles matchup. Jacob Feldman, a sophomore from Lexington, VA, is 2 and 1. So shout out to the men's tennis team there. Then staying in the tennis, tennis realm here, women's tennis. Up to a strong start as they're undefeated right now at 3 0, running against Bridgewater, 7 2 in Gifford, 5 and 4, or 5 2 4, rather. We have Paula Nelson, Nelson, junior from Brazil, is 3 0. Jillian Arnold is junior from Johnson, Colorado, is 2 0. Uh, Lydia Delic is freshman from Yvette, Minnesota, is 2 0. Leah Savage, freshman from Rockland, California, is 2 0. And then doubles, we have Jillian and Paula, 3 0. And Leah and Grace are also three and zero. So on to women's cross country. The women's cross country team subbed to the Barry College uh, Cross Country Invitational, where they finished fourth out of fourteen teams. Savannah Chapin, a junior from Cincinnati, Ohio, finished sixteenth out of ninety-nine. Kenzie Ball, freshman from Payson, Utah, finished twenty-second out of ninety-nine. Heidi Bartman, junior from Evanston, Wyoming, finished twenty-third out of ninety-nine. So a super good race there. A lot of fun to watch. Men's cross country. Obviously, in the same invitational. The men's team finished third out of 12. We have Dylan May, Jr. from Missoula, Montana, fishing, finished second out of 108 runners. Dylan also holds the top time in the 8,000 meter race in the USA South Conference. Down out there, uh, Will Collette, sophomore from Swanee, Georgia, finished 21 out of 108. Joseph Short from Western Alley, Utah, finished 27th. And then we're going to finish off here with men's golf as they play in the Glory Days Invitational, hosted by Shenandoah University. Rogan Bennett, Jr. from Mantua, Utah, finished 11 out of 76. We have Michael McCaffrey, Jr. from Westlake, Ohio, finished 17th there. And we're going to do the special feature, SV Newcomer of the Week. So we had a lot of touch the first down, touchdown scores, first down goal scores. So shout out to all those. I kind of brought them off throughout there. Uh, Scott DeFay also scored his first touchdown of the year. We have, um, like I said, the soccer players. We had a, a few of those there. Um, scoring out of their first goals and um, a lot of people scoring first touchdown first shot so super excited there and then we had uh, Paula Nelson Jr. from Brazil as she is 3-0 singles as the tennis team that got through a hot start there so upcoming events we got Monday men's golf away women's field hockey home Tuesday men's golf women's soccer women's volleyball all away Wednesday women's field hockey home men's soccer away Thursday women's volleyball home Friday nothing Saturday we have Men's and women's swimming away, football is away, women's volleyball, women's soccer, men's soccer all home in BV as we should now start calling it Dub City uh, with all the wins we're uh, racking up there. So thanks for everyone I uh, joined in to today's episode for SVU Sports Weekly. Hope you enjoyed the show and got a closer look at the incredible talent that SVU boasts. And I just encourage everyone to support your SVU athletes to attend the games. You can also go to www.nighttablecollective.com to learn more about the Night Table Collective and our mission. On our website, we've got membership options, some cool perks, some merch. Those business, business owners out there, we also have corporate sponsorship options as well. So make sure to like and subscribe to the video, share it with uh, the, the SVU faithful, and I'll see you next Sunday.